Hallelujah to Jesus. Great, 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 great coming your way once again this beautiful morning on this platform, Daily Impartation. Platform that is reaching people around the world, blessing people, helping people. Platform that God is using to heal the sick, deliver the oppressed. I'm so glad, I'm so glad. Now listen to me, today is the beginning of another weekend. Therefore, I pray for you. This will not be the end of your life. Rather, it will be the end of your problem. This weekend, I see God blessing you. I see God enlarging you. I see God, I see God increasing you. You are blessed and highly favored. It is well with you. Those listening to me all over the world, you are blessed. You are in your car listening to this broadcast, you are blessed. You are on the hospital bed. You are healed in Jesus' name. Wherever you are in your bedroom, listening to this, the blessing of God and the presence of God will be with you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now hear this word of wisdom. Nobody was ever honored for what he received. People are honored for what they gave. I say it again. Nobody was ever honored for what he received. People are honored for what they gave. Now, this statement tells us how important we should take giving in this year 2022. You know, most of the time in January, we've emphasized on prayer, we've emphasized on fasting. But listen to me, that circle is not complete without giving. When Jesus was teaching in Matthew chapter 6, about three foot cord that cannot be broken. If you read from Matthew chapter 6, 1 to 18, he spoke about giving. As a matter of fact, he started with giving. When you do your harm, then he spoke about prayer. When thou prayest, then he spoke about fasting. They are three foot cord. I'm challenging you today that take your giving serious this year. Nobody is honored by what they receive. For God so loved the world. John 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world. Uh, for God so loved the world. Um, for God so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son not that he received he gave he gave and today we are still talking about that son John 3 16 listen to me your beauty your increase your enlargement is not in what you receive is in what you give therefore this year make sure you dedicate yourself to giving don't joke with your tithe don't joke with your offering your worship offering the offering you give when you go to services and there are some of you listening to me you are giving far far below the blessing of God upon your life if you need to step up your offering Please step it up. That was part of what God told me this year. He said, boy, step up your offering. And by the grace of God, I've obeyed. Step, not that what I was giving was bad before. He said, step up. Listen to me. The Bible said, the same measure you give, that is the same measure we will give unto you. If you give low, you will get low. If you give, if you give high, you will give high. You will get high. Give to the poor around you. Give to your parents. Give to your prophet. Give to project. In your church, wherever you see the kingdom of God, the work of God being done, give to it. That is how to expand this year. That is the key to expansion. Listen to me. If you are only praying, you are fasting, and you are not doing what I'm telling you. You have not completed the circle. And don't forget, the Bible says three-fold core cannot be easily broken. That is Ecclesiastes. It didn't say two-fold core, three. If they are not three, if the circle is not complete. That is why, please, I beg you, that is the way to expansion. Serious with your giving this year. Make sure you give. You know, God gave his son. And when the son came, the son gave, gave, gave until he gave his life. And look at it today. We are talking about Jesus all over the world. He gave, gave until he gave his life. Jesus gave his life. You cannot even give your money. Give your money. Do, do, give, 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 sir. Especially to things that have got to do with God. And everything I've highlighted to you. And I see God blessing you in the name of Jesus. Today will be a day of blessing for you. In Jesus' name. You are blessed and highly favored. If you have not given your life to Jesus, please make sure you do. And help us to share this message. Let it go viral. Share it with your WhatsApp contact. Share it on my Facebook. You know, through my Facebook, Wakayo De Nathaniel Tomome, we'll share it through our YouTube channel. And the Lord will bless you. Don't forget our Bible reading is still on. Make sure you are faithful to it and the Lord will bless you. See you tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you.